When you're dealing with bagged cement products, you never want to store it on the ground, not even on concrete. The mortar can wick up moisture right out of the cement and ruin it. When you're ready to open the bag, look for the one of the four corners that isn't sealed shut. This is meant to be the opening. Then you can lift it up the right way to begin with. Now you can get the bag to where you're going to want to be working with it and give it a little drop. That both gets the cement out of the way of the opening and loosens up the compaction that happened in a store. Now you can just stick your hand in, tear it straight up. After you've completed a few projects, you'll easily be able to estimate how much more do you need right out of the bag into the wheelbarrow. To give you something to work with though, I got a cheap paint pail from Walmart. These are uh, five quarts each. We'll just carefully pour the bag right into the bucket. Now, we just want to start adding a little bit of water at a time. Take our time, thoroughly mix it in, a little bit by little bit. Unfortunately, there's no exact mix of water and mortar that I can give you. Your altitude, your temperature, and even the humidity of the particular day all have an effect on the mix. A little bit of water, a lot of mixing. A little bit of water, a lot of mixing. As you start to get kind of close, you got to really be careful with the amount of water you add. You'll think, oh, it's pretty dry, and you'll give it a good dose, and then boom, you'll lose it. Once I get to this point, I like to just roll up my sleeves and really optimize it for sticking to an armature. Make sure you got your uh, bucket of water nearby so you can wash your hands when you get done. Throwing air into it uh, makes it lighter and fluffier and stickier too. Exactly how wet to get your mortar probably the trickiest part. You'll just have to experiment and figure out what works best. You want it a little bit crumbly. If you can make it into a ball and then break the ball and maintain its shape you're probably doing pretty well at that point. If it's not working out for you on the armature, you can always put it back in the barrel and add a little bit of water, water or a little bit more uh, dry mortar. I think that's about right.